What's up guys, Fulgo here, and uh, today let's talk about Sack, the secret weapon. Um, I wanted to do a commentary on him for a while, but uh, you know, I, wanna get, uh, I wanted to get really good with him, and as it turns out, his ganks are just freaking amazing. Um, his crowd control is just incredible, and really a, a really good asset for any team. Uh, so let's talk about his pass. So basically, it's called Soul Division. Every time he hits an ability, he drops a little blob on the, on the ground, as you can see right here. And then he can pick up set blobs to regenerate health. Um, very simple, really. Um, additionally, when he dies, um, he splits like so. And uh, when all the little blobs get back together, then Sack is back to life. And according to how many blobs were destroyed, he will return with a certain percentage of his health back. Very similar to Anivia. Um, except the little cell thingies can be smited if you want to kill him really fast. Um, stretching strike, very simple. Um, it's a skill shot, um, area of effect, uh, unstable matter. Um, it's on a very low cooldown, and you and you, and this is what you're gonna be using in the jungle. Let's face it, uh, very 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 low cooldown. And then elastic slingshot, which you could say is Sack's signature move. He launches himself a great distance, might I add, uh, dealing a bit of damage and slowing the targets for a little bit. And then let's bounce the ultimate. He bounces. Um, yeah, not, not, not a lot to say there. Very self-explanatory, really. Uh, no, Sack. Uh, <laughs> I gotta say, um, I play jungler a lot. That's probably my favorite role, but Sack is definitely one of the funnest junglers I've played in a while. Um, there are little things that you might want to master um, in order to be really successful with him. Uh, the main one being triggering your passive. Um, obviously, your main source of sustain is picking up those blobs, which I guess I, I should tell you that the enemies can destroy by stepping on them. Um, so, the, the the ability you really want to... As a player, the ability you really uh, want to cherish is basically every time you hit an ability, pick up the blobs in between attacks. This will give you maximum damage output and durability in the jungle. And I gotta say, Sack is very durable in, in the jungle. And before I even talk about build, Spirit Visage is a must. I've said it before and I said it again, I'm very reluctant to talk about builds. Because I think a build should adjust to the, uh, the player's play style. But Spirit Visage is so good on Sack, it's not even funny. It's like that item was made solely for Sack. It's like Bone Tooth Necklace for Rengar. Um... Another thing worth noting is that all of Sack's abilities are area of effect. This makes him very powerful uh, in, during team fights, and and he should be built as an AP um, tanky. Um, I guess you could say he sucks up a lot of damage while uh, using his array of abilities to crowd control the enemy team. It's he's a very basic champion, really. Um, it, if you saw on the champion, it, the skill cap was like all the way up there. I don't really think the skill cap should be. Um, so like high but uh, I guess that's just my opinion um, basically just catch the blobs whenever you multiply and um, I guess you should get into this gameplay before I keep just oozing all over I'm just getting wet thinking about Zach but uh, <laughs> basically he's he's a very strong jungler and and you're, you're gonna see this game this game I just completely dominated the jungle I'm not even gonna lie I did pretty well and I'm very proud of myself um, I just, I was very proud in the ganks I did, and then I wa I rewatched the video, and I'm like, wait a minute, that wasn't me being pro or anything. That just means Sack is awesome. Um, right here, uh, we got to engage three on three. Morgana's kind of is getting kind of low, and unfortunately, we are gonna lose her. But Bolivar, uh, -uh you're running away. So right now, I get in Leona, trying to make Quinn pick up the kill, but I see Draven dealing some damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and scare him away. Leona is gonna foolishly try to kill Quinn by herself. Quinn pops barrier, picks up Leona, and after keeping uh, Draven at uh, yeah Draven at bay, I just move back. Um, it's just <laughs> he's funny. He doesn't die. That's the funny thing. And his passive uh, actually, uh, I uh, unfortunately I don't die during this commentary, um, so I won't be able to really display how his passive plays a role during uh, team fights or I guess the games. Uh, but uh, the little things you should know about his passive is that 
uh, when he separates into the, those four blobs, uh, especially when Kantarin said, you shouldn't recognize those four blobs as four different champions. You should recognize those four blobs as four minions with a set pattern. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean by that that those blobs won't be affected by, um, let's say, abilities that can only only target champions. Uh, so, um, let me see if I can num name uh, an ability off the top of my head. Uh, I can't, but you know what I mean. They should be treated as minions. Now, that means that they can, in fact, be smited. And uh, and they will receive the damage from Hunter's Machete. Uh, that being said, he's really hard to kill, especially during team fights. People don't usually pay attention, and and it's really hard to get into the mindset of countering Sack because you know you gotta crush slowly, whittle him down, and then crush the little blobs. He takes like he. Uh, Every time he uses an ability, he drops on the floor just to make sure he doesn't regen. And then on top of that, once you kill him, you gotta finish up the little freaking minions that are getting back together. So, Zack is a handful. Uh, oh, right here. <clears throat> Another successful gank. Spoiler. I'm gonna wait for my team to push up a little bit. And then I'm gonna do a risky tower dive on Draven. He did not see it coming. I'm just gonna quickly finish him off. I am a bit low. However, my passive is still up. So I decide to stick around for a bit more, maybe try to secure a kill on Leona. And I don't see Voldivere coming. Um, I'm going to trigger my ultimate, dealing tons of damage and slowing Leona. And I'm going to pick her up. Uh, Voli is going to do the right thing and go for the AD carry. Um, however, this does give... This let me off the hook, basically. So I decide to go back in. Uh, we're going to try to kill him. However, I forget one important thing. Sax E actually is you can't really target it it's just when you trigger it sack will jump forward wherever he is looking at and that is sort of hard to get used to um you would think it's like mordekaiser's e but it's not uh, it, it's hard to explain it's one of those things that you would have to play sack in order to understand how his abilities work exactly but with a little bit of um of practice you can definitely get it down to a science and use it effectively and now let's talk about the build for a little bit uh before you know in the meantime uh while something important happens uh boots i go for the i go for speed uh sack uh, there's not that many boots that sack can benefit from uh maybe merc threads are, are good or ninja tabby depending on the enemy team's uh composition However, I, I do feel that the, the he is very strong in the jungle, and he can clear out the jungle incredibly fast. I mean, uh, Sag's uh, unstable matter is on a freaking zero and a half cooldown. So he is able to deal a lot of damage. And uh, remember, all of his abilities are area of effect, so he can clear out the jungle pretty fast. And if you have those boots, you can move through the jungle even faster and, and, and just gank a lot more and have more presence in uh, any team. Now, it, it is worth noting, uh, now that I, I, I remember seeing this, um, his E has a huge range. I mean, he can jump over some of the walls that many of the champions with escape mechanics, like their Sana Jug, Rocket Jumps or Kha'Zix, they can't jump. Sack freaking can. Uh, he has a lot of potential. And it's one of those things that when Sack is MIA in the map, you might want to pay attention. And really keep tabs on him because he can just come out of nowhere. Uh, that being said, let's go back to the build. Spirit Visage, like I said, it's a must. I, I build it right away. Just give me more durability during fights and 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 basically in the jungle. Uh, from there on, you have a few choices. Uh, you have the Hunter's Machete, so you might as well build it into the Golems. I forgot the name, man. I'm still. It season three came out a while ago, and I'm still getting used to the names. Um, spirit, spirit of the golem, I think is called the uh, blue fist. It's really hard to miss. Um, you can build that, uh, and you know, make you more durable. Uh, clear out the jungle, and uh, right here, uh, uh, you ain't getting that tower on my watch. Look at the range on that. I'm gonna immediately trigger. Let's bounce. Bully, being the genius that he is, uh, flings me towards his. Oh, and that missed. He flings me towards um, Olaf, and Anivia's stun misses. Bolivar thinks he can do a gank, but Anivia freaking slows the living crap out of him. 
Uh, however, his passive is up, but Anivia does an incredible... Props to this Anivia. He was really, really fantastic during this game. He, he really took advantage of the ganks I gave him. And as a result, we came out on top. So, um... Build, build, build. Uh, Shirelius, you could build that on him. Um, really depends if your team uh, needs, I guess, needs you to build it. Uh, oh, by the way, blue. I have blue. I think I picked it up from somebody. Uh, Sack doesn't really need blue. So whenever possible, give it to your AP mid or your support. Um, you could make the argument that the cooldowns will make Seta more effective in, in battle. However, Set's cooldowns are not incredibly, like... Uh, what's the word? They're not like freaking terrible. Um, I, like I said, his main source of damage on stable matters on a freaking zero and a half cooldown. Uh, and on top of that, you will mostly be building Spirit Visage, which already gives you cooldown reduction. So uh, in reality, not that not that need for blue. And look at this. Look how fast I can clear a wave. That was two abilities, by the way. Uh, now you can go from there. Uh, I have seen. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. I have seen said sack, sack, sack. I have seen sack build uh, straight up damage, which doesn't really work. Uh, at least in my experience, it does deal damage, but um, it's not as effective, or it doesn't have as much presence on team fights. So I I will I will recommend uh, a buildy um, a buildy a tanky build a buildy tank <laughs> a tanky build. Uh, War Mugs, uh, War Mugs, Spirit Visage, uh, perhaps late game you can afford to sell your boots, and like I said, get, get, uh, Merc Threads, <sighs> Spirit of the Golem, um, and then for offensive items, um, Sack is primarily, um, AP, so if you wanna go for an attack, I, I like an attack item. I guess I have seen Rabidons build on Sack. However, I'm very reluctant to recommend this item. I really am. I would rather just have you guys build um, sort of a tanky build. I think, uh, honestly, Rabidons, you know what? Rabidons, not bad. Not good. Not terrible. It's just a, a really good item. Um, it works. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure there is there is some crazy build I haven't figured out yet, that which some like Oh, and here's where I mean when you can jump off huge walls. Here you go. Surprise! And that's how Rice lost his virginity. Unfortunately, we did lose Quinn, but nobody told her to go all ape shit. So there's that. Um, oh, Spell Vamp. Spell Vamp uh, does work on Sack, actually. Um, if you choose not to build um, the Spirit of the Golem or whatever you want to call it, you can get the Spirit of the Wraith. By the way, I'm sorry I'm fucking up the names of the items. I'm one of those people that just memorizes, like, the little freaking picture. Like, when I was a kid, I would always look at the pictures in the books. Yeah, I'm that type of person. So I just memorize the item. So it uh, the item basically gives you spell vamp, yada, yada. Uh, this will make it more durable. Uh, if you need armor, I guess you could go for, uh, depending on the enemy team, like, if the, if the enemy team has a lot of AD... Um, thorn mail is still always viable and if you really 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 oh by the way sorry for the slow down my computer has been very bitchy lately if you really really want to get on their nerves and really push them to the limit get guardian angel on sack now guardian angel is perhaps not needed uh, due to his passive but he will make sack have so much presence in a fight like he will just die and come back every freaking time assuming assuming they don't kill you while you're in your passive form and second just regenerate all that health back it, it's quite amazing i actually saw a guy playing sack and he had two war mugs uh a guardian angel and spirit visage and he was virtually unkillable it was amazing uh but f here's the end of the commentary sadly hopefully i'll, I'll be able to bring a uh, larger commentary on him uh, in the meantime, this is what I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. This was Fulgore, and peace out.